Hey y'all. What's up? It's your girl Mimi. Did you miss me? Cause I missed ya. I missed ya. I missed ya. Wouldn't wanna kiss ya. Okay, I don't know. I, I'm just I'm just talking shit at this point. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here with your girl Mimi today. I appreciate all the likes, the comments, okay? All the new subscribes. Yes, 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 yes. I really do appreciate you guys so much. Okay, I couldn't wait to get back to you guys. But like, sometimes life be a little, woo, not a bad way. Just woo, you know? <laughs> I don't know if that explains it, but sounds right about right to me sounds, sounds right to me all right guys okay please like share and subscribe thank you so much okay definitely click that like button definitely comment below if you resonated with this reading okay and definitely hit that uh that notification bell button so that you guys know when i do upload okay and definitely if you guys definitely love my readings and you feel like you know, if you want to keep checking your girl out, hanging out with me, vibing with me, was good. Was really good. <laughs> I just be talking shit, guys. All right, don't mind me. Anyways, yes, please. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell button. And let's get started, okay? This is going to be a reading for my... Pisces, you guessed it. Of course you guessed it. All right. Overall energy is the full card. Okay. Some of you guys could be starting something new right now. Taking a leap of faith. Releasing. Okay. That's the first card in the deck. All right. It's all about starting fresh, starting anew. Whatever that may be. Whatever it is for you. Okay. It could be work. It could be a relationship. It could be friendship. It could be a new idea. It could be just going on a whim or something, right? Let's see what message we have for you today. Ooh, it's a battle of the head and the heart. It's easy to love, but it's not easy to be logical, okay? It's easy to love, but it's, all right. I know I wrote this, but now I'm thinking like, what did I mean by it when I wrote it? It was a little while ago. It's a battle of the head and the heart. It's easy to love, but it's not easy to be logical. Well, I mean, clear as day, obviously. Some of you guys could just be or have been in a constant mental battle with yourself about how you should proceed with something, okay? Should you just go on in with love? Should you just be more logical? Like, you know what I mean? And I feel like some of you guys are definitely starting... I feel like some of you guys are taking a leap of faith. For some, it could be love. For some, it's about being logical, okay? Not really into the love thing at the moment. It's more... It's just it's, it's just taking proper precautions. Look at that. That wanted to pop out. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Yeah, it's about having a, a battle. Not a battle without. It's about having balance between two things right now okay whether that's love and logic and whether that's uh being practical being spiritual you know you know i don't know if you guys know what i mean but it's definitely a balance finding the balance within something at this moment okay you gotta hold your vision fixed sign okay some of you guys could be dealing with a fixed sign taurus scorpio leo and aquarius Right. Oh, some of you guys probably have that in your birth chart or the person you could be dealing with. Or maybe some of you guys are just embodying this energy right now. It's more about being being able to just not let your emotions or at least your logic or whatever be swayed. Right? Because you already had a battle. You already went through a battle of you know, what's this or what's that? I feel like, for, wow, look at that. I'm gonna just take them all. I feel like for some of you guys, it's, it's like you've been on that time where it was about love. It was about compromise. It was about, but now, now you're not changing. 
your hard work you're being i'm not gonna say being stubborn with this a new moon in capricorn your hard work is paying off it's more like you're not you're not budging okay a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in libra and you have surrendered to the divine okay a full moon yeah Behind the scenes, you've been doing a lot of work, okay? Things that wasn't seen by people or maybe whatever it is that you was doing wasn't getting recognized. And I feel like your time is coming. Time is now. Oh, and look, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches from one of Capricorn. Yeah. Okay, some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn or have that heavily aspect in your birth chart. Okay, and it, it's, it's like... You guys just been, for some of you guys, you guys literally just been working hard. Working, 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 working. I know that's what I've been doing. That's why I've been doing, gone. That's why I've been gone. You know? That is definitely why I've been gone. You know what song just came into my mind? Oh my God. It is too late to apologize. It's too late. I said it's too late to apologize. It's too late. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You see that, right? Yeah, I feel like somebody could be coming to try to offer you some type of apology, but you're like, I am releasing myself of this burden. But I do feel like some of you guys are carrying some of its weight on your shoulder, okay? It's too late. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Hold your vision for my Pisces. That's one republic, if you guys didn't know. Wow, hold your vision. Okay, we gotta unexpect the income. Okay, some somebody could be giving you pretty penny. Not a pretty one, but a big one. Okay. I feel like something unexpected is gonna land in your hand. What is this hard work paying off? Oh my God, somebody's getting a gift. I'm telling you, somebody's giving you something for all your hard work. I told you guys, you guys are working hard. What is this surrender to the divine? Wow. You got occupation, okay? you have a high honor okay i'm definitely getting like you know somebody is gonna probably see you as high honor okay they're gonna put you on a pedestal they're gonna realize your worth they're gonna realize that you deserve so much more for all the work that you do okay all the work that you do all the toiling and laboring and everything that you've been putting into whatever it is that you have to do And I feel like somebody got somebody in the background coming to apologize, but it's too late to apologize. It's too late. I said it's too late to apologize. It's too late. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know that part in the song where he be like, well, he said, my fires burn, used to burn red, now it's turning blue. That's like, that talks about somebody having so much passion for somebody. And it's like, I can't even have that passion for you anymore. I can't even love you the way I wanted to love you anymore. Okay, no, I can't even. I can't even, okay? It's like the passion is gone. It's like the excitement is gone. It's just... Oh, it's, this is how he said, I love you when the fire red, now it's turning blue. The weight, the weight. I told you, you guys are carrying something on your shoulder. And it's the weight of the fact that you may not love someone the same. It's like, you love them, but it's, it's just not the same. It's a battle of the head and the heart. And I feel like some of you guys are definitely 
choosing the head. a sip of coffee for that okay because I don't know I almost feel like, I'm gonna be honest with y'all I almost feel like I could cry it definitely almost felt like I could cry I feel like some of you guys definitely wanted something to really work to go in the right the right path okay the right direction but you can't, can't force it. No compromising your worth. I don't think anybody should compromise their worth. It will only hold you back, keep you stuck, not keep you. You understand? You compromise only when someone else compromises, and it has to be reasonable compromises. It cannot be something that compromises your worth. Like, your worth should never be compromised. Other things in relationships should be compromised, but not your worth. What is this unexpected income from my Pisces spirit? Now, I want to know about... I feel like some of you guys could be like, you know, worms in the brain, overthinking when it comes to being logic and your vision and the income that you're trying to get for yourself, right? One more. You got the Queen of Swords. That's a Ten of Swords right there. It's like you're breaking your back. Yeah, you're breaking your back. You're going back and forth. You're breaking your back. You're going back and forth about how you can make something work. Is it? Am I right? Or maybe somebody is. It could be somebody around you, okay? I'm getting Aquarius. Okay, with these swords. Could be a Taurus. What is this your hard work paying off? I feel like there's a lot of juggling. I feel like some of you guys could have like two jobs and like you're juggling. You're juggling so much. Oh, your hard work is paying off. You got three of wands. Yeah. You're not going to no longer waiting for... Oh, my God. It could be that some of you guys are no longer waiting for someone to give you something. And you just... Every time I see this King of Cups, like, he's throwing that cup away, all right? It ain't two of Cups, all right? It ain't a relationship. It's solo dolo. Loving yourself. Yeah. Moving away, Okay. I feel like some of you guys know somebody threw something away that was the best thing for them. And you could have be, exp yeah. Could be a Taurus. Somebody could have Taurus or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in their birth chart. Aries, Leo, Sag, possibly a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But it's like, you know, some of you guys could have been committed. To this person you know have a could be a marriage it could be a, a strong relationship a strong commitment it could also be your job that you're committed to okay or it could be that it's your spirituality when it comes to your spirituality you're committing to that okay I'm telling you, a win-win outcome is forecast. You got the motherfucking wheel of fortune up right. All right? I'm sorry, I'm a little aggressive. That was just a little passion right there. But it's like, you're, you're, you're going to win that all cost at the end of the day. Yep. You got the Prince of Wands. 
basically the night of wands i feel like with this with the wheel of fortune i feel like things are going to be working in your favor and i do feel like if you guys had someone here look at that man this lover's card really wants to come out yeah i feel like i was gonna say somebody here that could have been because you know every time i see this wheel of fortune you got the snake at the bottom falling off and somebody riding high it's like somebody's gonna fall off and you're gonna come up and I, I i don't i don't take pride in that when i see that it could be a loved one it could be a gemini or something that somebody has gemini in their birth chart and i don't i don't take yeah i don't take pride in that at all so i don't wish bad on anybody you know even even those people that did me wrong, I, I I want them to win. I want them to still be great. Just leave me alone. And I feel like some of you guys could be feeling like this. Like leave me alone. Just let me be great. All right. I ain't worried about you. I ain't heartbroken over you. But somebody is. Somebody is still heartbroken. Somebody could be watching you. Okay. Wow. Like you. Yeah. Yeah. You got a judgment here. Somebody could be trying to make a decision on you. Or somebody made a bad decision to leave you at the right time. The wrong time for them, right time for you. That's what I'm getting. I'm going to leave that right over there in the challenging position. They thinking about it. They thinking about what they did. They thinking about it. Like you got two nights in reverse. Yeah. You want people to leave you alone. You, you you don't want anything you just it could be that you or someone could be walking away and it's like that's the the best thing to do yeah because somebody could have been caught in some type of imbalance two of the angel cards look at that yeah it's it, it's like going into hiding you got sagittarius virgo taurus yeah sagittarius virgo taurus virgo capricorn aries leo sag I feel like somebody basically spoke too soon about something and they don't even know. They don't know what it, they don't know. Yeah, they don't know. They blocked out from whatever it is that's coming to you. Whatever it is is gonna give you high honor. Whatever it is that you're working towards, whatever it is that you're doing, you understand what I'm saying? These motherfuckers is gonna be in their head about all this, all the work that you put in and how you are able to basically proceed progress i don't want to speak too soon this could be someone you could be in a relationship with and somebody's getting blocked here okay somebody's definitely getting blocked here okay somebody could be i do feel like somebody just puts always puts somebody like in, possibly in their head but they have to go back and and just relearn something whatever that may be like let me explain myself sometimes you have to unlearn something so that you can relearn something and we all do not know it all right and it's like if somebody is sitting here putting you in your head okay having you go back and forth between like what you know what it is you know what what decision you need to make in this situation to have the best possible outcome it could be that you just have to go back to the drawing board okay like this person looks like she's weaving thread fabric or whatever and this person looks like she's putting the fabric together into clothing okay and it's like whatever it is that you had to unlearn and you had to relearn whenever you relearn that you still know whatever it is that you had to unlearn so you put the you combine those two together that's why it's a win-win you know to get the best possible outcome right now you just have to probably go back to the drawing board you have to start over or you understand you have to put the head and the heart together okay so that you can have this new beginning and i do feel like people just gonna have to get blocked from this okay whatever it is is coming for you whatever it is is gonna give you this high honor whatever this cycle you've been going through and working on it that's probably why capricorn is out here because capricorn is ruled by saturn and saturn does have those rings and it's like that you know those rings they they spin okay 
what is retrogating right now? Saturn's not retrogating, right? I know Jupiter is, so it could be something really big. Something really big that's going to circle back around and pay off big time is what I'm getting. And then there's people that's going to leave out your life. They're going to they're gonna wish they didn't leave out your life. But guess what? Sometimes you, this is one thing I do know, okay? And this is literally from my own experience, okay? When I was at my lowest, those people that was there for me, those people that was helping me, those people that never betrayed on me, those are my people, okay? The people that sat there and laughed at me, the people that sat there and talked about me, those people that sat there and um, basically traded up on me, they can't come with me. If you, get what I'm, if you get what I'm saying, they can't come with me. Okay, they cannot come with me. They cannot come and go where I'm going. Okay, all that I'm trying to accomplish. And I'm talking like, oh, I made it. I'm not talking like that. I'm just saying like, what I'm trying to create. You, 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 can't, you can't come. Because when I was down, you was out. <laughs> you know, down and out. I don't know if you guys get that. Yeah, but when I was down, you was out. Now that I'm up, I'm out. How about that? How about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, do y'all know like that little YouTuber that I don't know his name, but how about that? All right, we have 42. Okay, read it. Could like I said, you have to probably unlearn trying to relearn something. Possibly you need to read. Okay, watch a movie. I'm getting like honestly, get your mind off of things right now. It, it could be that you need to get your mind off of things and just. Yeah, because your mind could be sparkling out of control. And it could be about being in your head, you know, whatever it is, whatever, whatever it is. But I, I feel like spirits is letting you know, like, just release it. Okay, yeah, release it. Meditate, chant, okay? Sync with the moon, okay? Sync with the emotions. Sync, sync with um, how is it that you really feel inside, okay? The moon phases, you'd be surprised. The moon has so much control over our emotions and our bodies because you got to remember the water on earth the push and pull of it is caused by the moon okay the gravity of it i, I can't get into all that right now i need to you know refresh my memory more because i used to know much more about it but basically that's like the overall message and our bodies is made 70 percent of water so if you think the moon does not have some sort of control over how we feel and what we're going through this is why our menstrual is uh related to the moon cycles right cycles every month we go through a cycle right it's like a 14 day thing for like after your period is done your menstrual period whatever you want to call it like 14 days later you're ovulating 14 days after that you're on your period again it is like you get me? All right, so we have connect with fire. Okay, some of you guys could be connecting. Either connect with the, the, the inner you, connect with the fire within you, connect with what gives you passion, what makes you go, okay? Some of you guys could be connecting with the Aries, possibly, because I'm looking at this full card here. But yes, yes, my beautiful Pisces. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I know I did. It was fun. It was fun while it lasted. You want to get blasted? All right, never mind. Don't mind me. I'll be talking. Y'all already know. Y'all should know. Y'all should know me already. I don't. The more I keep doing these videos, the more silly I just may become because. It gets easier, you know, you get more comfortable before you're like a robot. Um, I don't, uh, uh, yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, letting it flow, releasing, okay, releasing, releasing, releasing who I am, okay. Because I'm telling you right now, I make myself laugh, like, on a daily. And I, <laughs> I think I'll be saying some stupid shit, though. Like, honestly, I just, I just be saying some, some dumb shit sometimes. I really make myself laugh. Sometimes I, I speak before I realize what I'm saying sometimes. So. 
you know but that's that anyways my people my pisces my amigos te quiero mucho okay you here with your girl mimi i hope to see you guys again please like share subscribe and if you guys are looking for a personal reading you know what to do all right my information is down below in the description box all right i love you guys so much mucho much until next time